Ah, let's definitely take this celebration of where we all are, all that we're experiencing. And I want to give each of you a hug and a high five. Yes, the and the energy is bringing a lot of dynamics into our life, but just getting to share how we're all moving through it seamlessly, easily, letting things go so quickly, coming back into our high vibration as quick as possible, coming back into the awareness of who we are. That truly is the gift of us living as our higher self. And that as we start to embrace just that living essence of compassion within our heart, that we are the awakened Christ. Again, that Christ consciousness, the Christos, the crystal of light that emanates on this planet. And it's a light that has so much compassion that it's as if we are holding and loving all of our children. And that as all of our children, as all of humanity gets to go through the experiences that we're going through, that we just get to hold them in love as they go through their experiences, knowing that every day more and more beings on this planet are just going to pop awake, say, ah, that was fun. I don't want to do that anymore. And now I'm done. I am ready to love myself. I am ready to have a different experience. I am ready to be who I came here to be. The past is the past. I don't have to work it out. I don't have to figure it out. I am ready to be brand new right here, right now. And as you just allow yourself to take a deep breath in, Come fully into your body, into your center. Just give a huge energetic hug to your body that tells your body, thank you. Thank you, body. Thank you, body, for being my vehicle. Thank you for being my vessel. Thank you for housing this experience so that I can move around in this reality and share the love that I came here to share, share the wisdom, share the new codes, the new light language, the new vibrations. Thank you, body. I love you. And as you come into your body, just feel what it feels like. Let your body show you how happy it is to feel loved and adored. And it's not much different that if you imagine hugging a child and that child feeling so loved and so appreciated. <sighs> and bringing your awareness into your 24 dimensional shield around you. As you bring your breath into your pineal gland this time, I want you to breathe it all the way down into the core of the earth. Just breathe it down into that plasma field. Let it swim there for a moment. We're going to do something a little bit different. And now as you just feel yourself breathing in and out the essence of the breath of the heart of the earth, the plasma light, the pure emanation of Christ consciousness. I want you to take another breath in and it's almost as if that breath fills up your lungs and your lungs are breathing this plasma light. And as you inhale all the way in, this time you're gonna take a deep breath out and breathe down all the way through the planet, out the other side, and all the way to the galactic center. And when you're ready, breathe that beautiful radiance back up and in. It comes back in through the core of the earth, filling it up like a huge channel. And all the way back up so it reaches not only the bottom of your feet, but fills up your entire body, your entire form. And then let yourself expand 
push your awareness out and feel that your true self, your higher self, your expanded self is actually bigger than the room you're in. So just fill up the room because what you're really doing is just protecting that beautiful little body that we're using in this life and just fill that body up and just imagine as the room fills up with your essence in that plasma field around you that you are fortifying the mental body, the etheric body, the emotional body all of the chakra aura layers of that body. And you're just flushing that through. And in this moment, just realize there's no reason to figure anything out. The past is the past. We're moving just like teleporting into a new timeline, into a parallel reality even. We're just going to teleport our new awareness that this body is not holding any residual from the past. The past is the past. And purge out all of the cells, almost as if they flash out of existence. And when they fl flash back in, they're just brand new in this new timeline, this new reality. And feel your avatar becoming so empowered as if your skin is glowing as though you are a light embodied being, your light body, almost see-through, if you will, because you are just radiating this new plasma light. And as you're expressing this through you, just imagine feeling it from the inside out. And now breathe this light in up into your pineal gland. And this time we're gonna go out the crown, all the way up past all of your soul stars and all the way through the portal of the sun. Cause the sun is how we entered in and just keep going all the way through past the other constellations, past the Pleiades, keep going past it. And we're just going to merge into the galactic center. And I want you just to, for a moment, imagine in the galactic center is the out breath of the source of all that is. And as you imagine these ultra terrestrials from a completely other universe breathing creation into this reality that their breath is actually many many suns so it's super bright they're like huge radiant suns stars that are just emanating out new new expression new creation we are always expanding. We are always growing. And as you feel yourself just floating in this realm of suns, these stars just rotating and breathing and living, they are living entities that are bigger than the sun that we call our solar logos in the Milky Way galaxy. They are bigger than even our sun, brighter huge luminescent beings. Each one of these would be like our grandparents, if you will. They are our creators, the light that we have emanated from. And just feel all of that flooding in to you. And as you feel all of that, feel the colors, the movement, the radiance, and just breathe that radiance down, down, down. And as you breathe it down, fill up the Lyra constellation, fill up Aquila, fill up the Syrian system. Fill up the Pleiades, the seven sisters. Let's fill up the Orion constellation. The Orion Nebula is actually a very high vibrational creator realm. 
And so as you breathe that light in, just restoring its vibrancy and breathe it through all the planetary systems that were ever what we would say in our mind hijacked and just breathe through the Orion constellation all of this light Breathe it through. Now, imagining just moving through the constellations and breathing it through Antares, through the Arctaris, through boats, constellation, through the Andromedan, our sister, our sister galaxy. I want you to imagine breathing it all the way through. And as it's coming in through the sun, just imagining it now breathing in through Pluto. It's like we're flipping on the light switches of this galaxy. We're breathing it through Neptune. And imagining hitting all of the moons and all of the asteroids, all of the smaller planetary bodies that haven't been recognized, breathing it all the way in, bringing it in to Uranus, to Saturn, to Jupiter. All of the moons, all of the rings. And I want you just to imagine now that as you're breathing it in, you're breathing it in through the asteroid belt of the planet that was once Maldek and just create a holographic restoration of Maldek and then breathe it down through Mars into Earth. Keep extending it through Venus Mercury, and then just watch it spiral through all of the Milky Way galaxy and all of the places that we may not have a conscious awareness of, but just intending it to just keep rippling out. That in this moment, I'm going to ask you to come into your throat center. Allow yourself to be within your throat center. Your throat center is a direct portal to fifth dimensional frequencies and energy. It is a direct portal to the Pleiades star system, to the constellation, all of the seven sisters, the different places there. And for this moment to be directed there, and I want you just to for a moment, imagine the Pleiades. So the Pleiades are many, many planets in quite a long constellation. So it takes interplanetary ships to be able to travel back and forth between them. And just if you want, allow your awareness to even notice all of the traffic through there. And each of the different planets has different races, different beings on them. Some are aquatics, the most beautiful beings. There's actually a lot of mermaids and some of the, the water planets in the Pleiades There's those that look very humanoid, much like us. And there's many others that take different forms. And just for a moment, I want to to expand your awareness that the Pleiades are actually like an intergalactic, if you will, hub. There's a lot of races that are from other constellations, other star systems that visit there, that come there to learn. There's very esteemed places where you would go and do higher learning. Each and every one of us has some connection 
to this place, whatever other star systems we have been from, some may have originated there, but many have just traveled through there. And I want you just to notice within your throat system that today, as we are within this lunar eclipse time, which takes us deep, deep, deep into the shadows, deep into the psyche, deep into the places within ourselves that are ready to awaken to be more. Go into your throat and ask it to open up now any places that it has felt as though it has been blocked, choked off, limited in connection, not able to speak. And so for any who have felt as though they have had to tone down who they are in this life, hide who they are, not share openly, all that you're thinking, all that you're aware of, or all that you're energetically doing. So for each and every one of us that have ever, and this is honestly every single person in this group who has felt as though they couldn't completely be themselves at some point in time in their life. I want you just to ask now, you are going to just be now Connected to the Pleiadian energy, whatever planet, whatever race, and whatever situation that that block has come from. And I want you just to call forth now and imagine coming before you now is the being and the appropriate person to be there with you now to show you how to open up your throat. And just notice they are appearing before you now they are next to you now and just become aware if they're taller than you smaller than you in relation to you are they in front of you behind you to the side of you just quickly become aware what kind of surface are you standing on and just from our higher self in the same frequency and energy, just noticing that you have embodied within you the light of all the cosmos, the light of the galactic suns. Pull that into your throat center. And in this very moment, if you are ready, proclaim all that I have ever held back, all that I have ever hidden, all that I have ever felt as though I could not share or that if I shared it, it would be dangerous. It would end my life or there would be repercussions, all of the places that there has had to be secrecy. I am complete with that now. I honor now the energy of the change. I feel now that the moment that we have all been excitedly waiting to incarnate into is the moment of now. And in this now moment, Now is the time to speak. Now is the time to be our truth. Now is the time to open our voice. Now is the time to be the radiance and the light and the love of who we came here to be. I am willing and I am ready to completely step out of that, unlock it, free the throat and let it go. And as you say that, Notice how they are helping you to remove whatever blocks. And you are collapsing a Pleiadian energy, something that has been stuck and blocked within the cosmic Akashic records. And just allow yourself to say, I am complete with that now. I am complete with that now. And I want you to look at them, notice them, however you see them. They are very significant because this is also a karma and an energy they've been holding. So whoever they are, you have a connection with them. There's something that they will have the opportunity to share with you through this entire lunar eclipse that is lasting a couple days, the window that they will share. Just saying to them in my dreams tonight, we will talk.
And I want you just to feel whatever it is. It might feel as though you almost want to throw up. It might even feel as though there's something that's been choking you or something that needs to get out of the throat. It might feel as though you are breathing. And as you breathe, there's a new level of breath that you are bringing into your body. And as you do, we are stepping into being cosmic citizens and just proclaiming from your I am present. I am aware that I am a cosmic citizen. I am aware that all of my actions, all of my thoughts, all that I am affects all of creation. I embody now the cosmic law. I embody now the law of one. And as you say this, I want you to connect with your, your brother, your sister, your friend, your connected being that you are communicating with right now. And I want you just to imagine heart to heart. They are already operating. They've gone through all of the levels of suffering already. And so we are the ones that are doing kind of the final cleanup. Remember, our bodies are karma resolution vehicles. So a lot of us have come here to clean up all of these little timelines. And so whatever you're moving right now, I want you just to tap into them. Isn't it amazing? the level of love and compassion that they hold in their heart. The level to which honor is the code. The law of one is just a state of being. It isn't something you work at. It is just, you wouldn't have it any other way. To dishonor cosmic divine law isn't even something we would think about doing. Every cell in our body yearns to celebrate and to go to coexist within divine law, divine harmony, unity, consciousness, telepathy from the heart. And I want you just to notice some of them may be touching your heart right now because as the throat continually opens, it is going to start to unlock new walls and new barriers and new layers that we might not have even realized were around our heart. So just allow yourself to realize what you might still be guarding in your heart. What part of you are you still protecting? What part of you is still afraid that it might get hurt? And let's suggest for this moment, honor those, all of the places where being a human hasn't been easy, where being a human was confusing. As the cosmic citizen that we are now, we realize these walls and these blocks and these locks and these restrictions around our heart are not required any longer. And from your I am presence, you can allow yourself to say, I am that I am. I choose to open my heart. I choose to be living light now. I choose to open every lotus petal of my heart and let the crystalline diamond light move through me. I choose to be pure radiance of love. Love is an essence. Love is the fabric of the universe. Love is what the divine mother is. Love is the zero point field. Love is the fabric of all that is. Love is. And nothing can alter love so long as we hold the expression and the remembrance that that is who we are. And as you allow your heart to open, realize that mean words from other people can't touch love. 
notice how on the earth plane, the dense reality just passes through your body as if you were a mist or as if you were just a light body. Nothing physical, no words, no expressions, nobody else's opinions can touch you. They just pass right through you because when you are the purest emanation of love, Fear has no hold. Anger has no hold. And notice and just allow for a moment just the awareness of from this beautiful being there with you. How they move their emotions. Because remember, they also travel throughout And they're just as aware of humanity and earth humans and other beings on planets who potentially say mean things or don't treat others always within the law of one. And I want you just to connect with them and how to manage your energy field. And they're showing you how to upgrade your light codes, your chakra system, your axitonial lines, your meridians in your body, how you connect with the different chakra systems of the planets that you travel to, how to align your energy system fully and completely as a compass to the galactic center so that you're always streaming a pure living light energy through you. That in the higher vibrational levels of being, we always focus on the divine. There's an awareness of the creator, of the creator essence, of the all that is that we have all emanated from. And I want you just to focus on them one more time. I want you just to sense yourself as you look at them You're going to do something a little bit different and you're going to, as you look into their eyes, I want you to hop into them and turn around and look back at you. Become aware that you probably don't look human. And as you look at you, what is it that is the most important thing for you to know for yourself right now? While you're on this earth mission, what's the most important thing that can help you through this lunar eclipse, this full moon, this powerful, powerful full moon that we're feeling move the the fluids of our body, the water of the earth moves through us and we feel the emotional waves of the moon. And what's the most important thing for you to know as you move through into the galactic center, the alignment with the galactic center. Just taking one last breath with that information. In this very I am present moment of now, we are ever so honored to have this opportunity to meet another aspect of our cosmic family, that in this moment, we stand here in the physical form of a human body, a human angelic body, fully and completely activated with our awareness of being able to process and immediately dissipate any karmic energy. We are the karmic resolution that we came here to be. And we honor this vehicle for giving us an opportunity to embed our star seed consciousness into this form so that we could have this body and to make these changes that ripple across all of the cosmos. So to each of all of our star families, we say to you, we are here now. We hear you. We see you. We are in divine right order. We too remember the law of one, the cosmic law 
of the divine. And the lump in our throat, the block that our throat ever had, and any of the seals that ever kept us from fully emerging completely within fifth dimensional frequencies of telepathy, of teleportation, of astral projection, of lucid dreaming, of remote viewing, of full bilocation between planetary systems and any place within the planet that we are physically on. We are now awakening all to all of the capabilities that the fifth dimension brings us. And we make the declaration to be from a compassionate heart and a sharing heart that we know that in order to operate within this realm, that we are in unity consciousness because all thoughts are shared, all emotions are shared. And therefore we make the declaration to only share shareable waves, shareable energy living light code we proclaim this now and so it is and it is done take a deep breath and as you part from them now saying i will see you a little later to them and you find your consciousness traveling back back through the cosmos back through the atmosphere of earth and back through the roof of your home and back into the crown of this avatar that you call your body, and back into the awareness that you are sitting or laying. Just hold that new vibration. The person you were before you had this meditation is not who you anchored back in. You have just anchored a higher aspect of yourself back into your body. However you perceive it, words are limited, but you have just walked in an entire new aspect of your consciousness. You are brand new right here, right now. And with so much love, thank you, thank you, thank you for the dedication of being you more and more every day as we bring the sacred meditation to the world. And so it is. Thank <laughs> you.